So now let us ship this jar file to the cluster and run it, run it on the cluster. So I, I am running SCP command here, SCP target scalar 2.10 retail and then say get dw01.itversity.com. There's a mistake here, I have to give the path. Otherwise, what will happen is it will create a file here itself. Let me remove this first and then go back to the SCP and then the give, give the path on the server onto which we are trying to copy the uh, file. Tilda represents the home directory and I'm copying to the home directory on the remote server. Now let me do SSH. And let us come up with spark submit command. Okay, spark submit. The class name is flume streaming department count. Okay. And then master yarn because I want to run in the yarn mode. And then conf spark dot ui dot port equal to one two nine eight six a five digit unique number under sixty five thousand five thirty five. And then the jar file name, which is nothing but retail underscore two dot one o iPhone one dot o dot jar. And I want to run in yarn client mode. Polling gw01.itversity.com 8123 8123 comes from the flume agent so the port number on which our flume agent is running is 8123 and running this is not good enough we need to add one more control argument which is nothing but a jars and we have to define all the dependencies here what are those dependencies so these dependencies are Primarily for the integration of Flume and Spark, uh, Flume and Spark streaming APIs. Okay, so if you go back to uh, the Sigwin console, you can go to user HDP two dot blah 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 Spark lib and run ls hyphen ltr. You can see I'm um, using spark streaming flume sync and spark streaming flume so these two are the dependencies which needs to be added for sure so i can copy this path copy paste it and then copy this one paste comma copy this one Paste and go here, copy this, paste, and also we need to have some additional dependencies from Flume libraries which we have added. So we need to have common slang and also uh, that Scala one, LSLTR grab Scala. We need to add this also for the safer side. Most likely this might be available already on the other nodes in the cluster. But if it's something fails, we'll add this. Otherwise, I think adding this is good enough. Common slang has to be added. So this is the path which we need to pass. So copy, 
paste and then copy paste okay so these three are the jar files which we need to add uh, add and then escape for the line break and then copy this spark submit command and adding jar, these jar files is very very important the reason why we need to add these jar files are these jar files will not be available on the other nodes where the uh, uh, the job execution actually takes place as that uh, the node which which actually execute the job need to be aware of those things we need to pass using these jars and automatically when the program uh, creates the executors it will also copy these jar files into those executors here there is one issue this path is not correct uh, this jar file is not correct we need to have spark streaming hyphen flume hyphen sync underscore two dot one o and then streaming flume underscore two dot one o these two have to be there spark streaming is not required it will be there on all the nodes in the cluster now i can copy this one and then go to the home directory paste it okay and before running it let me make sure my flume agent is running without any issues it is a it actually throw an exception and i think it it died let me kill this and let me rerun it again and then let me start this So now the Flume agent is running and it is it, it is pushing data to both HDFS as well as the uh, uh, Spark streaming sync. And let me see if there are any exceptions to our program. There are no exceptions to our program. It seems that it is working fine. Save as text files is being invoked. Now I have to open one more session. Log into the gateway node. And then check the path in which um, the files are being created. It is nothing but department wise traffic. You can see that files are being created without any issues. So copy this. Hadoop FS hyphen ls and paste. Okay, this uh, directory doesn't have any data. Now let me look into this. Copy Hadoop FS hyphen ls paste and hit enter. Okay there is no data in these files so there was some issue with the data um, not data but with uh, uh, the integration of flume with spark you can see here spark could not commit transaction nac received rolling back transaction um, and it cannot uh, successfully process the event so let me kill this session and let me see if there are any issues. I have given the port number as 8123. And let me check this Spark Submit port also. It's 8123. Probably some dependencies might be missing. Let me confirm that. So we have Flume, Flume Sync. Okay, so we need to add this also to the path. This is more important. 
I guess. So let me add this also to Spark submit command. Okay, so let me now start the agent. And also let me start the Spark job. And let us see if it is throwing any exceptions here. So far, no exceptions. Okay, so this time let us validate. Hadoop FS hyphen LS user B Gadraju and then department wise traffic. And let me take this latest directory. Copy Hadoop FS LS and paste it yeah now you can see the data here and then you can also say cat slash part star and you can see the data from the files you can see the department wise count coming into the files so this is how you can integrate Flume with Spark streaming, and a lot of companies use this uh, instead of um, redirecting the data from a log file into a simulated web service using uh, Netcat, uh, using Flume, and then integrating with Spark streaming is used quite often. Okay, so you you need to understand integrating Flume with Spark streaming, and you need to make sure that um, both communicate with each other and the data is being processed with spark streaming it is very very important 